anybody who thinks that the league was anti-Canadian or thinks that we never understood from day one that Canada is the heart and soul of this game, and this game is the heart and soul of Canada, doesn't understand what we understand. But Winnipeg so, in particular, there was well, never a feeling of that? Always. We, we, we don't like leaving places. That's why as, as exciting and as positively emotional as it is in Winnipeg, I know it's terrible in Atlanta today. I, I understand that, and I feel badly about that. But we reached the point where there was nothing we could do about it. Much the same, at, you know, I, I, I would read the stories that people say, putting aside today, you know, particularly when I would do my radio show, well, you know, you didn't go through all these efforts in Winnipeg in 96. Well, that wasn't true. It's disappointing is that Atlanta didn't work. The size of that market, gateway to the south, such a big hub. It's very disappointing. It's extremely disappointing. I feel most badly for the fans there. Uh, but when you reach a place, as we did here in 96, where nobody wants to own the team there anymore, there isn't much you can do. And what separates, again, the Coyotes situation from any other situation is one, I think the Coyotes got more attention because somehow that's where everybody got focused and because we were operating the club. Uh, and two, the bigger difference is the city of Glendale is paying for the club to stay. Um, overall, we think it's a very positive economic impact for Manitoba, even at very uh, cautious uh Sort of calculations, uh, we think it'll be very positive for the province of Manitoba, just on the dollars. But then there's the intangibles as well, all the uh, you know the sense of pride and the sense of spirit, putting us back on the map uh, internationally. It'll all be good for Manitoba. You must have a sense of the PST. You know what? Uh, we calculate that overall we'll be just fine as a province. It'll be a net positive for Manitoba. What did Laura? you say that calculates to the, uh, the machines? Uh, they could be up to $4 million a year of revenues, depending on how well they're used. Any other help from the province? Pardon me? Effective immediately, that, that reallocation? Uh, soon as, it's all part of the package, yes. Any other help from the province? Besides That's, that? it. That's it. That's it. How long will the machines? Is there a time limit? The it's a 20 year arrangement. Yeah. Is that going to make a hit to you? Uh, you to the Casinos. I mean, that's ninety. That's a lot of machines. Uh, very modest. We believe actually because they're low volume machines right now, they're not heavily used. Uh, that we probably can break even on the whole arrangement. I, on a, I, the sense of excitement and enthusiasm bodes extremely well. The price wise, do you think it'll match? It looks like it. The marketing people have very carefully analyzed uh, all of that, and I'm confident that there'll be a lot of support for it.